I have a goal right now of personally helping 1,000 people grow their businesses. If you want to help me reach that goal, then take a second and share this episode. Thank you so much. What is up and welcome back to the Matt Pete Marketing Podcast and welcome to the year 2022. I hope that your last year was absolutely amazing. I hope it was the biggest year in business that you've ever had. And if it was, let's take what we learned last year and make this year even better. And if last year was kind of a down year, I know it was for me switching businesses, COVID changing up my life a little bit here and there, making big moves. Last year wasn't my biggest year, but I learned a lot of amazing things, met a lot of really awesome people and have a lot of things that I'm continuing to implement in my business as I move forward. So going into 2022, I love this time of year because I personally love to internally set my own um, goals for the year and all that kind of stuff. I know a lot of people don't like doing that because they feel like it's cliche. And yeah, it can be if you don't follow up with your goals, but now is the perfect time of year. Even if you don't believe in setting those New Year's resolutions, give it a try. What goals do you want to hit this year? And how can marketing help you reach those goals? What can you do in 2022 to make this year absolutely amazing? I know I've got a lot of ideas moving forward. Podcasting is continuing to be one of those ideas just to keep me uh, posting regularly, putting out consistent content, connecting with people on a regular basis. It is just an all around great way, great asset to add into any business. So maybe you don't have a podcast. Maybe that's something you're looking at setting up. You're trying to come up with new ideas to grow your business moving forward into 2022. So let's talk about a couple ideas of things that you could do to grow your reach in 2022. So marketing, it's all about having eyeballs in your business, having more people, reaching more people. And there's actually a really cool quote in a book here. Uh, I had this guy on my podcast a couple weeks ago. His name is Mike Kim. And he wrote this book called You Are the Brand, the eight-step blueprint to showcase your unique expertise and build a highly profitable, personally fulfilling business. Yeah, you heard him a couple weeks back. If you didn't listen to his episode, go listen to it. His book is absolutely amazing, but he defines marketing. I underlined it in here because I thought it was a really great definition on page 57. It says, marketing isn't about closing a sale. It's about opening a relationship. So what can you be doing in your business? Instead of thinking of it as closing a sale, what can you be doing to open a relationship? from your potential clients to your business. What are you doing to open those new relationships? I know for me, I found out my definite purpose in November of last year, and it is to help 1,000 people grow their businesses, whether that's creating a podcast, starting a YouTube channel, learning how to create an email list, whatever that is. Helping 1,000 people is my purpose, so I'm going to be marketing opening up a relationship with a thousand people this year are attempting to reach a thousand people. That's a lot of people in one year. That's what three a day. (laughs) It's not possible, but my goal is to reach a thousand people to help a thousand people grow their business. So that's why I have this podcast. That's why I put out this content because I want to help you grow your business. So whether that's starting a podcast, figuring out how to start a YouTube channel, creating an email list, which we learned through so many interviews in 2021 that an email list is vitally important to having a successful business. I mean, just going back the couple weeks to Mike Kim's episode, he talked about how he was able to make $35,000 in one weekend because of his email list, his 2,000 person email list to get him out of a bind that he had got, found himself in because of a, a conference mistake. 2022 has a lot of great things that it's going to bring. It's got a lot of its, its own challenges, I'm sure, that you're going to face this year as well. But remember that marketing is opening that relationship between people, not necessarily just making the sales. So what are you going to be doing 
in 2022? Are you, are you going to be starting some new marketing avenues? Are you going to be running paid ads for the first time? Maybe what's, what's on your docket? What, what are you looking forward to in 2022 to grow your business? I know I've got a few things lined up that I'm looking forward to. And again, having this content going out every week on Wednesday to help you grow your business is what I'm looking forward to right now because I've met so many absolutely amazing entrepreneurs through this podcast alone. I can't wait to continue to meet more of you guys. I hope that 2022 is absolutely amazing for you. And if there's anything I can do for you to help you market your business a little bit better, just let me know. And I cannot wait for you to be one of the thousand people that I am setting out to help this year. Just let me know what I can do for you. Maybe that's just sitting down and having a conversation. Maybe you need help figuring out how to launch a podcast. Let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you grow your business and find a little bit more freedom in your life. Hope this really helps. And remember that marketing really matters. If you know someone who has a business that could use some help marketing their business, take a second and share this podcast with them. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.